Um, Mickey Collins talking after the 1 1 draw at Whitstable. Mickey, you left it very late tonight, but uh, you go home with a point. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was the least we deserved in the end. I thought first half we rode our luck and um, they could have been further ahead. And then second half, once the um, red card decision was made, um, I thought we took control of the game. And um, if it wasn't for an absolutely outstanding performance from their keeper, um, I think, yeah, we would have come away with all three points and deservedly so. I think uh, the referee played about nine minutes and you must have scored in the uh, eighth minute of stoppage time. Great for Will Johnson Cole to get the goal, but I think it, it, it's gone down as an OG. But, uh, you know, still had to be there to, uh, to score and, and shoot. Yeah, absolutely. And I'd claim it if I was him. You know, it's, it's going on target and it might take a deflection, but, you know, what, I'd, I'd take it if I was him and he's got himself off the mark. But I just thought, I thought the last half hour we absolutely dominated the game. Totally. You know, passed the ball around. And, and yeah, disappointed we've come away with only a point, really, which tells you that, we're, you know, we're just not that far off it. And, um, you know, we've made a stupid mistake for the goal and that's cost us. And then, um, yeah, from my opinion, we've, we've come on and we're, we're disappointed. We've come, you know, come away with only a point. We are disappointed. What did you make of the red card uh, situation? Oh, blatant. blatant. You know, Ripley's going for the ball, the guy's coming late, he's higher and he catches the man. It's, you know, I'm not saying there's intent there, but it's a red card all day long. You can't tackle like that anymore in football, unfortunately. And um, to be fair, it's probably the, the best decision the refs made of the whole night. I think we should have had a blatant penalty with a foul on Ripley. Ripley touches the ball, the guy just takes him out, doesn't give anything for that. And then probably the biggest decision of the game was that one and he's, he's got it right. And also... Um... Pogic just suggested that, you know, was asking whether he was offside for the one that was disallowed by Zach. Can't see it from where I am. Got no chance of seeing it. All it looks like, the shot's flashed in and Ken's touched it. And is he in behind the last man? I can't see it from where I am. So you just got to err on the side that the linesman's got it right. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah. Did you see it was a, as a very different game tonight, the, the, the way the, the, the match uh, panned out? No, not really. Not really. We know what they do. You know, they're very successful at it and they're a good side. And, you know, what they play a certain way and we knew how to deal with that. I just thought first half we were um, a bit standoffish. Didn't think we came out like we did Saturday against VCD. Said that to them at half time. And I thought second half we came out as a safe. In the first minute of the second half, we dominated. And then the red card incident made it even more one sided. And, um, and then we passed the ball. Passed the ball well on a, on, on a really good surface, to be honest. And you, you look about. As a, as a useful point, as you build into the season? Absolutely. Going on the run we've had and trying to get our feet you know, in, into the table, you'd, you'd have took a point tonight and a win that we had on Saturday going into the Hive game. But that shows you the levels we're at and, and what we've committed to that game today, that we're disappointed that we haven't actually won. OK. And now Hive at the weekend, um, you know, they're, they're one of the uh, title favourites, uh, but, uh, you know, they're there to be beat and... Uh, make a challenge for you? Uh, do you know what? It's, it's up to us, isn't it? You know, we can we can turn up on Saturday and show them too much respect and, and they'll come out and, and win comfortably or we can go go at home and, and have a go and, and see if we can get a result. And um, you know what? Looking at the desire they've just shown for that last 40 minutes of that game, you know, you know, stranger things have happened. A funny thing, football, a week ago, you were uh, criticising their lack of desire. Tonight, you're praising them. Sometimes you have to do that, Andrew. Sometimes you have to call your players out and sometimes you have to question them. Um, same as you question yourself when you make a decision and you, and you put the wrong player on or you make a bad substitution. You question yourself for days. And I questioned them and I questioned their loyalty. Um, you know, some of them didn't stay. Um, not worried about that. But I can't question it after the two games I've just watched our boys play.